just a very little bit about EBRD. We're an international financial institution or multilateral development bank. So we're owned by, I lose count, something like 67 countries and two institutions. So our shareholders are usually the ministries of finance here in Greece as the Ministry of Economy and Development. Um, we operate, again, I lose track, but probably about 39 countries now. We started off our traditional ground was sort of former Soviet Union, Central and Eastern Europe, so we could help them transition from command to market economies. Subsequently spread out to um, what we call SEMED, Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, um, the edges of Lebanon, West Bank and Gaza, and unusually Greece and Cyprus. They're the, the, the two countries that are very different um, because we started here for different reasons, and they're also both what we call temporary mandates, so then we're not here forever. Um, uh, I've worked for EBRD off and on since it started, so I was very used to our traditional countries. Luckily, I was also a little bit used to Greece because I first came here in 1960s. So I have my, my history with Greece as well. And it is so different from our traditional countries of operation. Uh, and I think that's one, one of the things I would say, you know, we're, we're not really able to support SMEs directly for small caps in Greece because the, the, the sizes are too small for us. We're a fairly unwieldy bank. You know, we're very good at doing things like the, the Fraport transaction for privatization of the airports, uh, the TAP transaction, which we'll sign later this year. I think it's going to be the biggest syndicated loan EBRD's ever done, 1.2 billion. Um, doing something for a, a small company uh, is also painful for the company because we have quite not that the, um, the standards are high, we think the standards of companies here are high, but the requirements um, are, we, we want lots of documents, lots of information. So what we're trying to do is find different ways of supporting SMEs through um, different vehicles. One typical way is our trade finance program, which we operate through the banks, uh, and the average transaction sizes there are really very small. They're in the tens of thousands usually, rather than millions. Um, and that can be for importing, so we provide guarantees to intermediate banks. We've invested in um, three funds in uh, Diorama, Southbridge, and Econos, and they, are, they then invest in small companies. Um, what we haven't yet managed to find is a way to support small amounts of debt, and we're talking to different people, whether it be through um, somebody like CNL, for example, that provides an alternative source of financing. There are other people looking at, at, at different sorts of structures where um, bonds could perhaps be bundled together. They did something in Italy called a basket bond. It could be a listed fund for equity or for debt. Um, and then we have advisory services. We launched in Greece this year uh, advice to small business, and they provide consultancy contracts to SMEs. Uh, we finance, it's about two thirds of the consultancy contract. And it can be things like developing a strategy, it could be looking into uh, what markets they could export to, it could be more technically oriented in, in I don't know, what sort of energy efficient equipment to get, and that's gaining ground. So I hope we may be able to support some of you with those sorts of uh, consultancy services. Um, and then we hope to launch soon um, something that would help uh, SMEs to list, be it again uh, debt, through equity or through bonds. And that's something we'll do in conjunction um, with Affex because of course they have their own roots program. So we will look at slightly different industries. So those are the sorts of things we're trying to do to support SMEs. Now of course if any of you have ambitions to expand <coughs> perhaps through acquisition, you may be you know, moving up a little bit in size and then you know, we'd love to talk to you to see if there's something we can do. But you know, we're not here to compete with banks. Um, so, you know, the, those that may come to us and say, okay, what can you offer us? How many bits less than, you know, X, Y, Z bank? You know, we're not in that game. We put a lot of money into the Greek banks when we first came in 2015, and I would like to see us try and get it back so that, you know, we don't want to compete with them. Anyway, I hope you have a good day. I hope you get some ideas. I think it's very important to develop um, ethics and get more companies listed. It can be an easy route to being able to expand your business. And I think most importantly in Greece, to take it to the next level, to move beyond being a simple family company, ensure that the, you know, the company can last forever, whatever happens to the family. And I think that is something that's, that's yet to take on in Greece. It still tends to be quite uh, insular, perhaps. So thank you very much for your attention, and have a good day. Thank you.